And let's inhale here. Exhale, hands to our heart. And we're going to step back our right leg. So let's find warrior one. And take a moment here to notice our front leg facing forward. Our right foot is facing out to the corner of our mat. Heels lined up if our balance is okay with that. Otherwise, we'll separate our feet. We also want our hips and our body oriented to that corner to take care of this back hip. We also want to be straight and strong through this back leg, keeping a micro bend without locking it out. So we're kind of looking off, gazing off the corner of our mat. Lengthening tall, we can keep our hands at our heart if we're taking care of our shoulders. Finding our three-part breath. Now let's bring hands to our hips. And this time we are going to square our hips up to the front edge of our mat, adjusting our foot in back if we need to. Let's straighten the front leg, find that hinge in our hips, and we're going to come forward. So any amount, if you have blocks, we can use those here. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and grab one so that you can see. And there's three different levels if we want to use the block, we don't need to. It's also very good to use our own body weight, finding our own balance. And we're going to lift up, lengthening our spine parallel to the floor, letting our left hand rest wherever it is. So, oops, we can use our block or just let our hands be right here on our leg. Let's start by opening up our shoulder here first. Really working on that movement of our shoulder, we can turn our back foot out and begin to really open up through our trunk. If we choose, we can lengthen our arm out from here, but don't reach it way back. Make sure it's still visible out of the side of our eye. Or we can just let it rest. So we're continuing to draw our hips back keeping a micro bend in both knees. We can experiment with looking straight up, staying straight ahead, or even looking at the floor. Sometimes that feels best. Let's unwind back over our leg. Again, adjusting our foot if we need to, block if we want to. Thinking about drawing, in this case, the left hip back and the right hip forward. We want to keep our hips square here. And with an inhale, we'll come back to that warrior one. Remember, orienting ourselves to our corner. Finding our three-part breath. Let's take hands to our heart, exhale. Inhale, reaching back. And let's open up here. Just finding a little opening across our chest. Three part breath. Now let's inhale, release. Exhaling hands to our heart. And we're going to step up to our mountain. Inhaling here. Let's exhale, forward fold. Inhale and lift halfway. And exhale, bowing in. Keeping shoulders over our wrist, let's step back and find our plank. Breathing as best we can into our upper lungs. If you feel like a little more challenge, you can lift one foot. Maybe bring that down and lift the other. Let's come back and we're going to lower down to our knees, hips, chest, shoulder the shoulders back, inhale up and exhale child. Let's pose more down one dog. And let's inhale looking up, exhale, feet to our hands. And with slightly bent knees, let's inhale up. Exhaling hands to our heart. 
And we're gonna take this to the other side. So stepping back with our left foot. Again, lining up our heels, keeping our front knee over their ankle. Back toes out toward the corner, body out toward our corner. We also wanna to remember to make sure our weight is even on both feet. We don't wanna be back more on one leg than the other. Bring the energy in and up, both feet. And let's bring hands to our hips. This time we'll square it up, turning this back foot in if we need to. Straighten the front leg without locking the knee. From that hinge in our hips, let's come forward. Any amount. We should be able to breathe in any pose that we're in. Let's inhale and lift halfway. Again, letting our right hand rest right wherever it falls. Focusing on the opening across our chest and shoulders first. Turning our foot out if we need to. So again, focus on opening there. Maybe extending from there. Maybe not. Looking up, out, or down. Whatever works. And we should be breathing easily wherever we are. And let's unwind back over the front leg. Drawing the right hip back this time, left hip forward, trying to square them up. Making sure that we're resting our neck, our head is heavy. No tension on the neck. Now let's bring it back up, warrior one, oriented to our corner. And let's exhale, hands to our heart, reaching back to clasp and open up. Three part breathing. And let's inhale, release. Exhale, stepping up to our mountain. Inhaling up tall. Let's exhale, over fold. Inhaling up halfway. Exhale, mountain forward. Let's step back to our plank. We're gonna look at our side plank this time. So the first thing we can do is just roll our feet, keep shoulder over wrist, and open up here. Make sure to lift through the hips. We can also bring one foot or knee down underneath our hip. Other wrist and shoulder lined up. Slide that foot off. Turn this foot in. And again, we can reach this arm up or we can let it rest here. So either of these side planks that we want to do today. Lifting through our hips. Now let's come back to child's pose or down the dog. Let's take three really deep three-part breaths in whichever pose we choose. And we'll get ourselves lined up again for our plank, side plank. So from full plank, roll the feet and lift four, Everything's stacked, hips over knees, slide that foot out, slide the foot out and in, all lined up down the mat, lifting here or here. Remember, really lifting through our core in either variation of this pose. Breathing. We've got all our muscles kind of pulling in here, so it's hard to breathe. Let's unwind. Again, child's pose or downward dog. Three deep breaths. And let's inhale, looking up at our hands. Exhale, feet through our hands. 
Drop the nail up halfway and just kind of bowing in. And we're going to separate our feet to the edges of our mat. And let's just lengthen here without locking our knees and then fold in. Do we have a block we can use in here? Or we can begin to swing side to side. Just releasing tension at our lower back. Let's hinge up from here, shrugging our shoulders back and down. And let's reach back, clasping our hands. Now the key thing here is we want to keep our shoulder blades touching. So keep the shoulder blades squeezing together. And we're going to begin to shoot our tailbone back, keep the shoulder blades touching. And we're going to come halfway forward. So we want to keep everything locked in place here. If our shoulder blades start to come apart, we can come back up. As long as they're still touching, we can come a little further forward. And let's allow our hands to lift us back up. We'll inhale up, come to extended mountain. Feet back underneath our hips. And let's lengthen up a little higher. Maybe a brief back bend. Exhaling hands to our heart. Let's go ahead and explore our tree pose today. So come to a wall if you need that for balance. But we're going to shift our weight over to one side. We're going to turn the other knee out as far as possible. Bringing the foot back in, maybe on the floor right here at our ankle. We also want to keep our core engaged. Find something in front of us that's not moving to stare at. Really focus on it. Hands wherever we need them for our own balance. Maybe we slide the foot up to our calf. We just want to make sure our foot is below the knee or we might bring it above our knee. And if we do, pushing the foot and thigh into one another helps create some dynamic tension to help us lift. We've got variation on our arms. However we want to do this. Stay focused. Let's bring that back down. And we'll find our mountain pose. Hands at our heart, let's shift over. And again, we're going to turn this knee way out. Bring your foot back in, keeping the toes down. Coming up onto our calf. Arms wherever we want them. Or we can try up on our thigh. Remember staying focused. Lengthening through the crown of our head. Three part breathing. All right, let's bring that down back to our mountain. And again, let's check in with how we're feeling. Maybe walk a little bit, see how our legs and hips are feeling after what we just did. Just notice how everything's feeling. 